guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Just kidding. <laughs> I know that we had a little bit of a problem with the home screen last week, but we've got it taken care of. And don't worry, I decided to switch it up this week and say, what's up guys? Welcome to NBA 2K TV. Let's be honest here, seeing me pop up in your home screen for the very first time last week may have some of you guys wondering, who is that random 2K chick? And since we're going to be hanging out a lot this year, I wanted to give you a little bit more information about myself. I grew up in a little suburb outside of Akron, Ohio. I've been playing ball since I was about 10 years old and in my senior year of high school, I earned a full ride scholarship to college. I was a two guard. I loved shooting and I was a three point specialist. My favorite NBA player has to be LeBron James since we grew up in the same hometown and I've been watching him play since he was a freshman in high school. My favorite mode in NBA 2K goes between career mode because it's pretty addicting, but I also like playing pickup games in the park or sometimes just two on two games on the blacktop because I can play with all shooting guards there. Cat. Hands down. If you guys have any more questions for me, you can always hit me up on social media at RADemita using the hashtag AskRad. And who knows, maybe I'll answer some more questions on an upcoming episode. I got to chat with a really cool YouTube personality and one of our most active community members. Hi. Hey, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Not much, just chilling. Thank you for coming on with us. For sure. We've all been watching your YouTube videos and I know that you've been like a big member of the community for a long time now. I wanna know right off the bat, like what got you started in NBA 2K? How long have you been playing? Uh. I've been playing 2K since like the very first one on Dreamcast and I've had it every single year. I've just been a big gamer all my life. Started playing games when I was like three or four, so. Since three or four years old, you were playing video games? Yeah, I was beating my dad and, and double dribble and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so did you play um, basketball growing up then? Yeah, yeah, I played basketball. I played a little bit in high school. Uh, and on before that, didn't play in college. Wasn't tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your go-to move? I gotta know. Definitely the cross. Gotta hit him with the crossover. You know, I was a big AI fan, so gotta hit him with those. You know, gotta, <laughs> gotta shake him up. <laughs> you gotta swag. So does it matter if you make the shot or just the crossover matters? You still got, you gotta make the shot too. You know, after you cross him, have them leaning a little bit, falling, then, you know, then hi, everybody hi. goes crazy. You shut down the whole gym after that. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite mode in NBA 2K? My favorite mode is definitely my career. I love being able to create a player and, you know, take him, mold him how you want to play and basically go in and dunk on people. That's what I love to do. <laughs> I love getting those, you <laughs> dunking on them and, uh, yeah. having the music play. So I saw, I think it was one of your latest videos um, that you went up against KD in my career. Oh yeah, yeah, How yeah. How was that? Oh my goodness, that dude is like so quick and hard to guard. Like, <laughs> he was killing me at first. Then I started bringing double teams, trying to slow him down. And I got a couple dunks in too, so. You gotta show some of my highlights, even though KD was getting me. So what got you into YouTube? I was, at first I just wanted to do it as a hobby. Cause like I said, I always had an interest in video games. It's been going great for me so far. And I, you know, I never thought it would blow up and to be into this, but. <laughs> Giving it a try and then <laughs> over 300,000 subscribers later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's That's been, pretty it's quick. Been quite the road. So if you weren't making YouTube videos, what do you think you would be pursuing? I really want to get into acting. I would love to be in a movie. So if anybody's watching this, if you're a director, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and hit me up. You know where to find me. <laughs> That's awesome. So walk me through like a typical day in your life during 2K season. If we were talking like today, I got up at eight, popped in the game, got a my career game in, did some editing and stuff like that. See what my homeboys are doing, see if they want to run some games. You know, like around this time, it's pretty much the only game I play right now. Whatever game mode I feel like playing, I'll just hop into that, try to get some footage uh, and start making those videos and get them ready for my fans. <laughs> <laughs> and then they find you in the park doing some crossovers into oh, yeah. a slam. <laughs> yeah, I got to get my rep up though. Like I'm way behind. I've been slacking. <laughs> yep, there's some people that reached All Star already. Ah! So, <laughs> what in the blue mode? Your weekend away, you know, got you behind. I think you have some time though. Do you have any tips for fans or viewers out there? Any QJB personal tip? If you want to get better at the game, honestly, it just takes a lot of gameplay. And also, they have the new little feature when you're in my career where you go in here into the gym and you can practice your, your signature uh, moves that you have. Uh, I think that's a great addition to get to know your moves, get to know your player a little better. Thank you so very much for, for coming on and making time. Thanks, I'm about to hop on this uh, park right now and see see what's going on. Gotta go I gotta get up. my rep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well have a good day, I'll see you later. All right, thanks y'all. Bye. I'm sure you are well aware of the awesome commentary from Ernie Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal on TV and now in NBA 2K15. And lucky for me, I got the chance to hang out on set when the guys were filming to be put inside the game. Shaq looked chic in his motion capture suit and Ernie kept it swag with his socks and loafers. Is this working for you? Reconstructing right here? on that machine. Shoes and, Shoes and socks working for you with this outfit? That's fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> We even got into a little competitive game of Grape Horse. Oh! Yeah. That, that would be the real. That's what the champ does. Shaq won by default, and I'll be honest, I'm a pretty sore loser, so Shaq gifted me a flower. Being a loser. <laughs> One of the mornings on set, I had a chance to grab my coffee and sit down with Ernie to chat. Hey guys, it's Rachel. I'm here with Ernie Johnson, and we're just gonna chat some fun stuff about 2K and what you've been doing with it so far. So first of all, are you excited to be in NBA 2K? It's so much fun and, and so many guys uh, watch, you know, play the game, guys in the league, and I've got kids and everybody knows the game. And when I told my oldest son, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be doing 2K and he's a, by far the best game out there. So I said, okay, that's I can't wait to do it. I know you've been announcing and hosting for so long. Do you feel like some of the stuff that you were reading yesterday is stuff that you've already talked about at some point? Oh, sure. I could, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing those lines, I was like, yeah, I've said that before, and I've this is the way I've tossed to, to games before when uh, when our announcers are standing by, like Kevin Harlan. I've done that that very thing. So it's very realistic. I mean, I can I can look at this and say, when you know, when, the pop, when you pop the game in and play it, it's going to be like, well, I'm watching this game on TNT. Will this mocap suit picture make your Twitter? Oh, without question. And especially with me and Shaq together, uh, because he's the largest individual in the history of the universe. And so uh, I think the two of us together in these suits will be uh, uh, comical to say the least. That picture is gonna go viral, I know, for a yeah. fact. Well, anything Shaq does goes viral. <laughs> you and Shaq in the mocap No, suit. but I mean. What's the hashtag for that? I mean, hashtag best video game of all time. What's the funniest moment that you can recall ever working with Shaq? Oh, he, he, here's the thing. He's always looking for something to do to make the show kind of zany. Mm -hmm. And when he, when he first joined us, it was right near Christmas a few NBA seasons ago. We had the whole studio all decked out in, in Christmas stuff. And at one point in the night, he looks at me and says, you know what we should do in a post-game show? You need to push that Christmas tree over on me. It'd, it'd be real funny. And we, 
So we said, okay, we'll do it. So this huge Christmas tree, he acts like he's shooting a jumper, Christmas tree falls over on him. He he will do anything for you know, he will do anything for a laugh. He's 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 run laps around here, he's had a he's taken his fall. Yeah, oh yeah. He was trying to he was trying to was get wild. to get ready for a uh, for a race. He said he could he could race Charles and and no there's nothing you bring it up and he'll say he can do it. I mean, we almost got, to, we, we were this close to tasing him on the air one night. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's it. Really, no, 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 really, you could. I could do it. You could tase me. And I was like, stop. You know, the only thing left to do is for himself, for, for Shaq to set himself on fire. That's, that's the only thing he hasn't done yet. Don't put that in his head. No, it's in his head. <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to talk him out of it at this point. Do you have any superstitions when you're on air? The only like, do you have any special not, not socks really, or tie? Really, not really a superstition, but what I always do um, when we come on the air or different times of the night, I pull on my uh, my left cuff near my near my cuff link, which is a sign to my family um, that I'm thinking about them and I love them, Aww. and they know that because uh, because they always look for it. And they say, look for Dad to pull on his cuff. That's so awesome. At, at some point in the show, it may not be right when we come on the air, but at some point, maybe I'm doing a lead into something and I'll, and I'll tug on it. What advice would you give to the younger audience that may aspire to have a job like you one day? It's always about whatever uh, fuels your passion. You know, you can be really gifted at something, but not be driven by that. I mean, you and I talk. You may be, you may be a great basketball player, but if it's not what really fires you up, you gotta find what does. Um, and for me, this is what did. So that's the way, the way I've always felt, is that I get to do this for a living, not that I have to do this for a living. So, um, I mean, if that's what you wanna do, and that's the direction you wanna go, go after it. Our very first round of the My Park Championship got off to a hot start with Sunset Beach dominating, winning almost 16,000 games. Rivet City came in second with 12,000 wins and Old Town came in third. And major props to these three players in Sunset Beach for winning 134, 148, and 161 games. Keep up the awesome work, guys. For you guys at Old Town and Rivet City, you might notice something a little bit different on your parks this week, but don't worry, that can all change in our next Rival Day round. So make sure that you guys get out there and ball up because your community is counting on you. Here's the general, that will count. season series. Each team took their Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What a huge play. Okay guys, there is something I cannot ignore. These horrific face scans. So I know the technology may be a little bit difficult and it takes you guys a couple times to get it just right. So I want to see your best 2K face scan transformation. So send us your best and your worst face scan photos to NBA2KTV at 2ksports.com or share on social media using the hashtag 2K transformation. I'll be sharing some of your submissions next week on the show. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of NBA 2K TV and make sure that you stay tuned because on the next show, I'm going to be chatting with the Shaq Diesel and also giving you a behind the scenes look from my body scan. I'll see you soon.